there's a lot more to Naomi than just a troubled girl. There might be something else kind of going on there. We love the teenagers so much in this story. Like, we love writing for them so much, and, and the actors that play them are so amazing. Jess and Naomi, they're definitely complicated friends. I think they have so much history, and it's, they're kind of like magnets of two people who kind of hate each other's guts, but are always still coming back together. Naomi's definitely the bad influence friend. She's, uh, she's got this edge to her that Jess is really lacking. And Naomi finding this uh, sense of control over this one person really feeds off of that. Mary knows more than anyone that Naomi's a little uh, and that she will manipulate and she's very powerful that way. And again, in season two, Naomi seems to know more than most of what you know is going on in Mary's life, or at least hint at it. She's always that scary presence, so I think Mary would love for her to not be around anymore. You know? Naomi is a is damaged, lonely, needy, manipulative, and once she has this this USB key in her pocket, um, it gives her a sense of power at a time when she's feeling like she's losing her best friend. Jess meets Heather in season two. Heather is very confident, very stable. We really wanted like Jess to have a good relationship this season, and I think she's found that with Heather, but then of course that creates all sorts of issues with Naomi who's jealous in her weird way. And most people see it as Naomi being the bad influence and, and Heather kind of coming in and, and being the good influence, if you want to put it that way. Oh, I think I saw stars. You guys are crazy. People have died from that. Well, she's crazy. I'm just impressionable. <laughs> And she kind of does her own thing and, you know, doesn't need to drink and do drugs. And she kind of has it a bit more figured out and wants the best for Jess and sees sort of a side of Jess that she doesn't see in herself. I think it's interesting to see Naomi not getting what she wants for once. Mary is a very protective mother. I think that comes from her having a mother that did not protect her, I think, in many ways. You know, she was the person who had to protect her mother and had to protect her sister. I think with everything that's happening, Mary's always trying to save her daughter's lives, save her own lives. She's very anxious. So when you're, you're going through a lot like that, there's a lot that you don't see anymore. It's like your eyes go like this. Wait, what are we talking about? It's on the family calendar. The girls are staying home alone tonight. I'm really not comfortable with you girls being here on your own tonight. Mom, it's one night, I'm 16. We already discussed this. Well, I changed my mind. Why? Because it's not safe. I think people will feel for her daughters a little more this year. I think they are being neglected. They are. And, and I don't think Mary wants to do that, but that's just the harsh reality. She's, she's, she's not quite there for them as much as she should be. Ultimately, I think she, she misses her mom, but she just shuts off to try and protect herself. So there's definitely more tension between them this year. How's that salad coming along? I'm on it. I'm just asking. I'm just answering. I think any parent with a big, big secret that's a time-consuming one, like Mary's, is going to be compromised as a parent. She doesn't notice that Jess is really heartbroken and that the relationship could end, you know, she just could decide to never talk to her mom again. That's where it's heading. <laughs>